Oh my God, yesterday, guys, if you were in New Jersey, we had an earthquake. Maybe I'll just block a bunch of people. <laughs> just start blocking people. If I look like a cast, I'm gonna be so mad. When I say I want a brow, that's the brow I want. I thought, ooh, something just fell down my back. I don't know what it was. Ah! I'm about to go take a passport picture, so I just wanted to wear something cute and casual. Come with me to get my passport picture taken at Staples. I think this was the best one yet. Hello. Oh, I could put mousse on my hair. I was like, I feel like I could put something else in my hair to make it even nicer. Mousse. Let me do my brows now. Get them stuck. Y'all, I was on a FaceTime call. I just put my Danessa Myricks on my face for my base. We're going to a party today. So if you're trying to figure out like, girl, what are you getting ready for? It is Saturday and it is a birthday party. Oh my God, yesterday, guys, if you were in New Jersey, we had an earthquake. I don't know. It's very weird. Everybody in my house and my family is safe though. So thank God, I hope everybody out there that had the earthquake if you're in new york new jersey connecticut or pennsylvania i think and delaware you might have felt it but i hope you're all safe it was small well no i think it was like 4.8 it wasn't that small and i think some places were 5.5 so it's even bigger than what we had i didn't my oven was shaking and i thought it was like a big truck that was passing by my house that's what i thought it was initially so i was like this truck is humongous like if I could still feel it you know what i mean and then in reality it was a freaking earthquake y'all and i had no clue so i didn't know until my daughter got a phone call we were like oh did you feel that earthquake and we were like what earthquake so then i made a tiktok about it which i probably will take down but i was like did anybody feel it because at first it was nowhere on tiktok like nobody was talking about it and i was like i know i'm not the only one because tiktok honestly tiktok is where i get my news like my source of news is from tiktok i know it's weird but i feel like i don't really like the news i don't watch the news but i'll watch a tiktok about it um but yeah then everybody started posting about it so i know it wasn't just me some people felt it some people didn't my daughter was on the other side of the room away from me and she didn't feel it but i felt it and i was in the i was in the kitchen and she was like in the dining room so yeah it was crazy my son didn't feel it either but then he was nervous because we were talking about it so then i think he was nervous about it but didn't actually feel it and then my other son was upstairs and he didn't feel it either he knew we had it just because we were saying it, but he didn't actually feel it. So I don't know, like the house shook, but not so bad. But they said to like check your foundation and everything uh, if you're around your house to make sure that everything is good. See if you have any cracks or anything like that. So I guess that's something that you should check for after an earthquake. And yeah, it was just crazy because I was not expecting that at all. Like freaking earthquake, what is going on? So like I said, everybody's safe, but it's just very awkward, very weird. I don't think I'm using this today, what I'm saying. Actually, it's fine. I feel like it's not giving me enough definition in my face. Like I'm looking too flat and I don't want to look flat. I feel like I want to stand out more and my makeup has been looking real like one dimensional, like my face. And I kind of don't want to look one dimensional. So I'm gonna put a little bit more, maybe a little bit more lighter powder. I mean lighter, uh, which I'm gonna call it the usual. So I'll put, yeah, so. Like I said, I hope everybody's safe on your end. On my end, we're all good over here. It's just the fact that New Jersey had an earthquake is like, what the heck? We had an earthquake before. I forgot how many years ago. I remember like, they were like, did you feel it? And I was like, feel what? We were driving over a bridge too. And I did not even feel anything because as you're driving over the bridge, you can't feel nothing. And yeah, we definitely had one, but I didn't know. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to I was trying to think of what I was gonna say. Oh, are you guys on Lemon Eight? I don't know if you're on Lemon Eight or not, but I just found a girl this morning and I can't remember her name, but she she was posting all her like thumbnails and everything in Lemon Eight. And I don't really post on Instagram anymore just because Instagram. Let me know if you guys like. How do you feel about Instagram right now? Because I just don't feel like it's the vibes. Like it's just not. It didn't do anything to me, but I don't know. Instagram just not doesn't make me feel like I want to go on Instagram or I want to be there. It's just weird how to explain it, but. I'm not really on it like that anymore. And I feel like it's all people I know too. So it kind of feels like more judgy, even though nobody's judging me. In my mind, I feel like people are, or like, what is she doing? Or who does she think she is? And you know, I don't know. You know how you get in your own head? I think I'm on, I'm on my own head on Instagram. So it's different than like a lemonade where nobody knows you or a TikTok where some people find you on TikTok, like they might know you, but they don't really know you know you. So it doesn't really matter. Like TikTok, I don't mind. Lemon 8, it's like, that's pretty, you know, I'm okay with Lemon 8. But I was thinking about that, posting my YouTube thumbnails and stuff on there. 
and then maybe having a group of people that come and find me, which I wouldn't be upset with. I feel like that's a good way to find target audience and see if they actually like you. So I think I'm gonna start doing that. I wanted to post it on my Instagram or my TikTok so I can get like opinions. You know how they have like all those broadcast channels that they're, they're kind of annoying, but at the same time, like if I had people that I knew, I could be like, which thumbnail, pick my thumbnail for me. And I have like three options for you and you pick like A, B or C. I feel like that is helpful. Cause then it shows you like what you're willing to click on. And I think Aaliyah Simone, I just recently found her, but she, ooh, she actually does that. She'll go on like her YouTube or her Instagram and she'll ask you to um, pick which thumbnail you like, which I think is cool. Cause you engage an audience before they even watch the video. But I don't have that on my Instagram. Well, I don't want that on my Instagram either. Cause I don't really want to, cause it would be like my own personal people that are like, girl. And I feel like nobody really, they don't really contribute. You know what I mean? Like I need to find people that actually want to say, oh, use this one. But I feel like not, not on Instagram. They're not going to do that. Maybe, maybe on TikTok, but I need it live. I need it right away. And I feel like with TikTok, nobody is, I can't go live yet. I don't know. There has to be a way I could figure that out. But I was thinking about that lately. I want to do that so I could have you guys pick. And there's something else I want to tell you too. I forgot what it was. Earthquake. I don't know y'all. It was something else I was thinking about and I was like, I got to tell you this. Lemonade. Oh, so my new series I think I'm going to do, I was telling you about last time, is going to be like a, like finding my personal style. And I think I figured out what I actually like and hopefully I'll do it today. So I like when it's like a jean that kind of fits you, right? Like, so my jeans fit me now, but... It's like a baggier jean, so I have on cargo pants today, and I'm going to wear a crop top shirt, and it's going to be pink, and then I'm going to wear my Nike blazers. I think they're called Nike blazers, but that's what I want to start dressing like. So it has to be, I figured it out, because I was like, it's like a uniform, right? So if I wear a baggier pant or a cargo pant with a crop top, that is the look that I like. And I couldn't figure it out, but then yesterday, I was like, this is what I like, because the girl that I like, the Diaries of Nakia, or Nakia, whatever, how you ever say her name, she is the one that I like really like her outfit style and that's how come I like it because that's the style that she has. A crop top shirt, so I got some crop top shirts, I got some more cargo pants and then she has a um, nice accessories and shoes. And I said, that's it, that's the formula. So now I found my formula, which is great because then I'm like, I think I found my style because that's the style I like. Even A Wilkie, like she has, again, the jeans that are a little bit looser fitting, but then she also has the, the crop shirts or not the crop shirts, but tighter fitting shirts. Okay, my computer just restarted. Weird. So I was like, that's it. Like, you know how before I was like, I can't find my style. I can't figure it out. I figured it out. That's what I like. I think that's going to be my style for a while. And I'm going to go in with this Morphe. This is in the shade Copper. Copportunity, it's called. And it's like a dark reddish kind of color. And I'm going to go in and put this back over the areas where I kind of got rid of that blush. So yeah, guys, I'm so happy because I'm going to figure out my style. And my style is going to be a cute style, hopefully. And I just bought some pieces yesterday from Shein. I know, don't come for me because we talked about this. Um, I'm going to get what I like regardless. And actually, Shein apparently makes a bunch of your clothes. We just didn't know. So there's that as well. Make it seem like, oh no, not Shein. Don't go to Shein. Meanwhile... Everybody going to Shein, including your manufacturer for your clothes. I'm trying to make sure I don't look too toned and also do my lash, not my lashes, curious place. So yeah, I was thinking about that. So that's what I think I'm going to do. In my style, I am going to start wearing the tighter shirts, get like some good quality pieces in different colors. So because it's about to be spring, summer, whatever, well, it is spring, but it's not feeling like spring. I'm going to start shopping for springy pieces but still keep them basic so i'm just getting a few basic pieces nothing crazy i haven't really been getting anything crazy i haven't really been shopping like that in general so that's also good but i don't want to do anything crazy i don't want to spend a ton of money either and I, i'm not all right so i'm gonna do my brows off camera and then i'll come back to you guys when i all right, just did my brows i think they look okay today I'm trying to get that it's fine all right so everything is done i think honestly i don't have to do anything else i'm debating on whether or not i want to wear my hair up down or half up half down or if i want to do like a claw clip like i did the other day because i thought that looked cute too i don't know yet i don't mind this um i also like it up i could also wear it down i don't know i'm debating between three different hairstyles or even the two cute pigtails that's so cute the other day i had a piece that was out as well hold on i don't know where it was it was like a one just one piece out for the curly hair i'm gonna go in actually the other day when i did my fenty powder it looked good i feel like oh this eye is baggier today I've been going back and forth between which eye looks baggy. I think I'm gonna set my face with this today. I don't know, I haven't done it in a while. And then I'll use my hairspray stuff. Cause I feel like we're gonna be, gonna be at a kid's party, honestly. 
I don't really need to do anything else at this point. I think I've done everything I need to do. Okay. This doesn't smell like good at all. Oof. That she smells like, I don't know what this smells like, but I don't like it. Hopefully my face dries. It doesn't look bad because that didn't smell good. I feel like my face now smells like car spray or something. Let's use this. I don't know, y'all. That one spray might have did too much. I feel like this eye didn't really... I got all my powders right there. Hopefully that works. Yeah, doesn't look bad. Now I gotta dust it away. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think? How's my face look? It looks okay? Alright, so I think I'm done. I don't know if I want to do a lip right now. I want to finish getting dressed. I have on my jeans and stuff already. And then I think I want to put mousse in my hair and tie it down. The mousse I've used is this, what is this, almond and avocado? I was about to say, what is happening? I haven't used it in a while, but it smells so good. I'm just going to put it anywhere. I feel like I have little hair sticking up, which is like all my little baby hairs. Okay. Don't even worry. I mean, y'all are clearly not worried. I'm going to tie this down and let this set. And then when I do that, tight, tight. It smells so good from Design Essentials. I feel like that's the only, uh, whatchamacallit I want to smell like. It smells so good. Mousse, I want to smell like. I was using that for my other braids. Oh, they would smell so good. And I think I'm going to get braids from now on until summertime, except for my birthday. I'm going to go back to like a weave and then go back to braids. I'm pretty sure because it's kind of the vibe I want right now. I could do braids for my birthday too. I just haven't done them. Guys, how does my face look? I feel like my face looks beat. The only thing I've been noticing is like my blush. I just feel like I look one dimensional. Like I'm not as blushy as I want to be. And I don't know why. Like, where's my ingredients? Like, I want my blush to stand out, and it's not really standing out, like, as much as I want. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to get finish getting dressed, and I'll come back when I'm done. So, give me two seconds. Alright, y'all, so I just finished doing my outfit of the day for TikTok. Hopefully, that worked. And hopefully, my piece of hair is not sticking up. I'm going to have to redo that real quick. But I just redid that. I just did that. My outfit of the day is this simple top from oh my god I don't even know where my top is from I think Shein I think my top is from Shein I have this in black white and pink and I'm just wearing my pink ones and then I'm wearing these jeans from American Eagle and then my shoes are just my Nike blazer shoes kind of thing all right that's what I'm wearing today hopefully that looks good hopefully you got to see it this is what my hair is looking like after I moosed it down and tied it down so like my little strays kind of lay flat and why is this this one piece of hair, I just want to tuck it in like that. Let's see. I might have to redo my outfit of the day because I feel like it wasn't. Hold on, I'm about to do it again. We'll see if that works. So I'll talk to y'all later. I feel like I look super cute though. My face is beat. Like, oh honey. Get a thumbnail. I don't know. I'll pick one of those. Bye. <laughs>
this works y'all because i just i'm getting myself ready hold on what's going on you guys today is wednesday i'm actually off of work and i have my phone in here somewhere today is wednesday it is 12 44 p.m i have already finished editing my one video and it is about to go up i also did like skincare with you guys this morning so you'll be able to see that like just a regular skincare routine i am about to wash clothes and i feel like two things i want to do i want to go get my car washed but i also want to go get my passport picture just another one from staples just in case so i kind of have like an idea of what i want my face to look like so i'm going to repeat what i did the other day because i felt like my face looked like almost flawless so we're going to do that again i can't even remember what i'm going to start off with oh so some lotion because I haven't put any lotion on my face and if y'all see how like glowy my skin is that is from snail mucin and I'll pop it in the screen um that was something I recently purchased and I didn't realize how good it was my skin was tacky from this morning like it felt so good so my skin feels like butter right now literally I just moosed my hair and did my edges and it's just laying down as you can see see how slick that is yeah I just moved my hair and stuff let me wipe my hand off I'll be right. last week was my spring break and I don't really have a break during spring break because I had like my son. So if you are a parent, you know, if you have kids and they're on a break and you're on a break, it's not really a break. So basically that would have, that's what happened to my week last week. But that's okay. Cause today is actually like a little day off break because it is actually Eid and we have off for Eid today. So I'm happy about that. I did some work this morning as well, uh, just to get myself on track. So tomorrow when I get back to work, I'm like already like two steps ahead, which is good. Doing my brows, I'm putting this, I don't know if it's called Glamour or, gr I mean, not Glamour, Grande Brow Laminate or Grand Brow Laminate. This right here. Pop this in the screen. This is what I'm using. Oh, my nail. Okay, so yesterday or the other day, I actually hit my nail. I'm going to put it back on and it's probably not going to be the same color as this one. But it didn't pop off because I just did a nail tutorial. You'll see that on the vlog that's coming up. But this nail, I hit it underneath. I don't know how to explain it. Basically, if you see where my nail is like, it's too bright going that way. If you see where my nail is like red right around here, I basically hit my nail underneath my nail and it started lifting, I feel like, between here and here. So my nail was still glued down completely and I could feel it where it like hit and it was almost lifted underneath the nail. I don't know if that makes any sense. I know what I'm trying to say. If you don't wear nails, you're probably like, what are you talking about? But basically my nail underneath my nail was lifted. So I felt that and I was like, this is very uncomfortable. So I, maybe I need to get more of this. I um, ended up taking it off because it was uncomfortable for me. So yeah, I don't know what the heck that's about, but I'm gonna just pop another nail on and then just put on a um, top coat. I might do it later on today because I don't really need it right now. It's not bothering me. I mean, hopefully it doesn't bother y'all that I only have on four nails on this hand, but it actually is sore. So I don't wanna just glue another nail on right away. Like, let me give my nail a minute to rest because I don't like that. So we're going in with Danessa Myricks. This is my go-to lately. I must have lifted, I had to have lifted this up because I just felt it again. I won't feel it. And I'm not gonna put nearly as much of this on as I did in the last vlog at all. Just gonna put enough to kind of cover my face because this little scoop, this scoop be lasting. Trying to get everything out of this scoop is crazy because look how it's hard to get out, guys. But I actually really, the more I use this stuff, the more I enjoy it and the better I feel like my face has been looking with that stuff. Um, so I really enjoy that, actually. The dry down with the whole like powder formula, whatever formula this is, it's like a game changer for your makeup. Now I see why people are using it as a flawless base. So this is definitely something I'm enjoying. I'm going to have my brows like stuck. Hopefully a laminate brow. This looks good now, actually. And all I put on was that grande brow stuff. I just feel so like productive already and I didn't even do anything yet. Besides, well, no, I did do something. I edited that video and I did work. So I feel like today alone already, I'm feeling like super. I'm gonna kind of do a full face because I'm gonna go back and try to get a passport picture taken from Staples. I, I went the other day because I had to pick up supplies for my son and I got new markers for my content creation board. And I was trying to figure out um, whether or not I needed to, could I just go to that Staples and get my picture taken? And they were like, yes. So I said, perfect, I will be back. And I'm going back today because I have some time. And it's still early enough. It's tw I told you it's 1244. Let's see how long this makeup actually takes me. It shouldn't take long because I'm not doing a crazy beat. I'm just doing like a nice finish where my face looks flawless, but I don't look like I'm overly done. And then I have to make sure that during the 15th, uh, when I get paid, I think I'll probably get paid Saturday, actually. I'm going to um, make sure that I have my passport sent out then. That way, everything is done. I don't have to worry about anything because 
we are going to Mexico and if I don't get my passport, we won't be going anywhere, honey. I just, I just won't be going anywhere because I gotta get my passport. Definitely happening and I'm gonna expedite it to make sure that it's ready to go. I'm trying to make sure I lift this up. I hope everybody's doing well. I feel so productive. Oh my God, guess what I figured out, y'all? I didn't figure it out. I just Googled it and it worked. I Googled whether or not you can schedule TikToks because I was like, I'm tired of, I don't know how like when you post a TikTok, how you usually post it for yourselves. But when I post it, it's like post and then it's in my drafts. So I have like 60 or 70 things in my drafts that I actually need to delete some because I already posted them. I, like yeah, I might have changed it up on CapCut and then came back and posted them. I use CapCut as my, when I went on TikTok, I use CapCut for editing my actual cover because I figured out you can do covers, which I actually really like. So I did that for my covers on TikTok. But today I was like, I really need to figure out if you can schedule TikToks because it really stinks when you're trying to upload a video and you're like, okay, I'm gonna upload it at six o'clock, but then I have to make sure I remember to post at six o'clock. And then what if it doesn't upload? because sometimes it like has a delay. I don't know why it does that, but sometimes there is a delay on TikTok, which is actually annoying when it posts. So I Googled, can you post TikToks? Can you schedule TikTok? Because I schedule my YouTube shorts. I schedule my YouTube videos. I never just post now. I don't ever really just do that. Unless it's a story, then I post now. I schedule my, when I was doing Instagram reels and stuff, I can schedule all those things or schedule a post. For TikTok, you can't schedule it. So I was like, this has to, there has to be a way. There is a way. So I figured out that you, I'm using my Merit uh, for my cheeks. There is a way that you can actually post to TikToks, but you have to use your desktop. So the only other problem with that is that when you post it on your desktop, you can't see um, you can't see your drafts on desktop. So if there's any like like not criticism, but any oh my god, it's not critique. Oh, maybe like a critique for TikTok. It would be like post. I want to be able to post my content on my actual from my drafts in my on my desktop, and it won't your drafts are just not there. When you go to look for your drafts on your desktop, they're literally just gone. So that is a little bit annoying, but outside of that, everything else is good. I'm gonna go wet this up here. I usually have like a roll of paper towels down here, which I have upstairs and I just keep one down in my beauty room and it lasts for like months and months because I don't use that many when I'm creating the content, but I feel like I need to get more because I don't have any down here. So anyway, I scheduled my TikTok for tonight at eight o'clock, y'all. Um, so if you're not following me on TikTok, please go follow me. I have my little post there every once in a while i don't i gotta figure out how to cross audiences i'm trying my best to cross audiences from tiktok to youtube and vice versa i do feel like if i went live which i keep on saying i want to do i feel like it would make such a difference in my community but i cannot go live not yet i have to get a thousand subscribers on tiktok and i feel like it's taking forever for me to get there unless there's another way to go live without a thousand subscribers i can try to do that but maybe you guys can let me know I really don't know. I could go live on Instagram. Maybe that will cross over to my audience on TikTok. I know everybody's like post across the platforms and all this stuff, but I don't know why I just can't get with Instagram right now. I just feel maybe I need to just start a new page on Instagram. Honestly, I think I might do that. I really might do that because I, I'm not posting on my current one and I'll just give that page up, but I want my name. I don't want my name to change. That's the problem. Maybe I'll just block a bunch of people. <laughs> just start blocking people. Eyes are looking a little baggy today. So I'm going to go in with my warm sand to outline my brow and I'm going to of course put on more blush. I found a new girl too and I love her. She's beautiful. I got to post her in my, I'll post a picture of her in my, um, I'll pop her in my screen. Her name, I don't know. It's on TikTok. I just found her yesterday. Hold on. I'll tell you her name. I'll look her up because she is that good. And oh, when you post a scheduled TikTok, I'm, I know this is like, y'all are probably like, girl, who cares? But this is exciting to me, you guys. When you post a scheduled TikTok, it basically looks like it has a date and time and has a little clock next to it that tells you it's scheduled. Like, who am I? I don't know if her name was Kennedy Alexis or Sanity. Like, I'm pretty sure it's Kennedy. I don't think it would be Sanity, but I don't really know. Uh, this is her right here. First of all, she's a makeup artist and, oh God, that looks so clear. Okay, that's one way to show you guys. She is a makeup artist. I'll post her to the side as well. She um, does her makeup. This is a tutorial I actually think I'm gonna try to follow one day, but she has hair, makeup, lifestyle vlogs, and I just found her yesterday and I was like, I really like this girl. The way she puts her blush as well, she puts it like right under her eye. And I did that, remember there was a trend with the blush that was like going right under your eye. She also uses a pink powder, which I think is pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna take my blush today for the sake of this video and for the sake of me having a m amazing passport picture. I'm gonna put more under my eye, I guess. 
Let's see how that works. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't. The I love the merit, but I feel like it's not showing as much as I want to show. Oh, there we go. Blushing it out now, y'all. Like putting it more under my eye. And then she uses a pink powder to blend it out. So that way it's like a seamless blend. I said, <laughs> I don't even know where my pink powder is. Honestly, where's my pink powder? Speaking of pink powders, because I had one. Yeah. This is my Morphe Brightening Pink. I'm going to just put a little bit on and then my Huda Beauty. Let's see if this works today. Ooh, this looks so bright. But she has a pink powder. I think it's one size, which is probably better than this Morphe. But I've used this before. I just don't want to look. If I look... If I look like a cast, I'm going to be so mad. Please pray for me, y'all. I'm not going to put that much on this pink powder. But if it's giving cast, I'm going to be pissed right away. I just want it to blend, like, seamlessly. So I'm still going to go on my Huda Beauty Powder because that's the one that, like, really gets me right. Okay. Not the best, not the worst. I can actually see my blush, which I appreciate, and I'm happy about that. My skin is looking flawless, though. I love it. And if it's not looking flawless to you, that's fine. I think it looks flawless to me. Let's get rid of those eye bags, honey. She actually uses a pressed, she uses, hold on, because she uses her beauty blender, one of these, which mine is filthy, but she uses like a powder puff press thingy. Yeah, so let's try to use that instead today. Let's see if that makes a difference. Because I've been using a brush, and I'm just going to press this into my skin and pray that that looks good, because if it doesn't, it will be sad. Oh, my bags are erased. Is this high? Ooh, y'all, my bags look like they've been erased. Yes. Thank you. God. I hope that comes across on the camera. Because if it doesn't, then I'm you know, like, girl, we still see your bags. It's okay. They're not going to be completely gone. They're still there. They're still visible. I still have eye bags. I was really debating on getting filler. But then I talked to my husband and I think the only thing with filler, the only problem with filler is that it moves around in your in your face which I think is so weird. So it wouldn't be like you get filler and it stays put. It'll be like you get filler and it's moving around. And that's weird. Like, I don't like that. I'm gonna go in, I don't have, I do have a cream contour, but I wanna get another one. I wanna get like a contour stick, like a uh, espresso from, um, espresso from, let's be honest thing, Fenty. Or if it's not espresso, I wanna get, I definitely wanna get hourglass though. Cause I feel like hourglass, they have like this nice stick and it looks so creamy and it blends well. I feel like I kind of want to use that. So I might get that. At one point I had Charlotte Tilbury spray. I don't know where it is. I didn't lose it, I don't think. But I have no clue where it is. I got so much stuff, y'all. Honestly, y'all don't even know. I don't even know. Y'all don't even see the half of what I have. I have a whole drawer back here full of makeup that I don't use. What I really should do is throw all that away because it's old as dirt. And then just put the makeup in that I'm actually using in there. Is my hair? Oh no, I gotta tie that back up. See how my hair's laying? Yeah, we gotta tie it back down to make it tighter. What I was trying to do was get my um, headband thing off so I could contour the top of my face. But I do. Body is another one. It says Beauty Elixir Smoothing Glowing Complexion. Maybe I'll spray this on instead of Morphe. But I don't know where my Charlotte Tilbury is. I wonder if I use it all. Maybe I use it all. Now, I don't like the way that smells either, but it'll do for now now i'm going in with my warm sand again i'm gonna outline my brows i feel like that's been working well for me lately actually literally when i say i want a brow that's the brow i want y'all my brows i am so proud of myself right now i definitely did that all right so i'm going in with my juvia's place this is in dark i was gonna say dark deep or deep dark but it's not just in dark and i'm gonna put this on my lid i think this took me like 30 minutes why i don't know maybe 20. no 30. i don't know why it took me 30 minutes y'all but <laughs> one thing about the brown in the inside honey you're gonna look good every time you're gonna look good every time you're gonna look good every time i really haven't been contouring but let's do it for the sake of this video so i'm gonna set my face i've been setting it with uh the fenty beauty powder actually lately so i'm gonna go back in with this set my face uh with this fenty beauty right here oh my face looks hopefully y'all see how good my face looks because i see it i see it and i hope y'all see it as well we're gonna go and we're gonna fix anywhere that we're not perfectly looking flawless we're gonna fix when i tell you that i want my brows to look like this every single day 
I'm literally not joking with you. I mean exactly that. I mean, I want my brows to look like this every day. I think I found my new thing. I think I figured it out. It's like a lamination without being laminated. My face is done. I'm gonna spray it again with everything. I think that looks good. I'm gonna spray it with like hairspray. This is how I wore my hair in my video the other day. So I'm gonna just have like a tendril here and a tendril here. Let's pray that they let me keep this little tendril down here. And it's looking a little rough because I haven't touched it. I thought, oh, something just fell down my back. I don't know what it was. Ah! Something literally just fell down my back. Oh my God. Okay. So this is like the messy bun I had the other day. It looks so cute. If only all my pieces stayed exactly where they are, my picture would literally be perfection. What's the chance? What's the chances that this will stay like this? Slim, if I don't get something to tie this down. I'm gonna put on my regular lip that I always wear, and then I'm gonna go to finish getting dressed. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm wearing, and then I'll go from there. Hopefully, I think they let you wear a lip. I don't think it's like you can't wear lipstick in there, is it? I don't know, I haven't taken a passport picture in 10 years, so. Passport makeup done. Okay, so let's see how this looks when I go there. Hopefully, they don't tell me to take this lip off because I'll be upset, but it's fine. I think my hair looks okay. It doesn't look as good as it did the other day, but I still have another picture from the other day as well. So in case this one doesn't work, I still have another one. I'm going to print out both and I'll send both off and see whichever one they decide to choose is the right one. It's fine. All right, let me spread my face and then go from there. That was so harsh. Oh my God. So now what I'm gonna do is take a thumbnail. I have to actually put my outfit on, so I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. It's nothing crazy. I think I'm going to wear my chunky, well, I'm definitely wearing my New Balance. I don't know which ones I'm wearing. I don't know if I'm wearing my chunky New Balance, but the super chunky ones that are green, cause it's like a little pop of color, or if I'm gonna wear my um, other New Balance that are like my ones I always wear. I have to get new ones of those, and I wanna get the Nike Vomeros, I think they are called. They have them in gold and they look so good. So one of those is getting got. I don't know which ones. The silver ones are nice too. Let me go wash my hands a million more times and then I'll be back after I put my thing on. So I'm gonna shift you over here so you can see my outfit of the day. Two seconds. Hey y'all, so this is my outfit of the day for today. I am wearing this Zara top. This is actually a part of a two-piece set. I'm also wearing this American Eagle jumpsuit um, and I'm wearing my Nike I'm wearing my New Balance 9060s. I think these are 9060s. Yeah, New Balance 9060s, I'm wearing those. I'm about to go take a passport picture, so I just wanted to wear something cute and casual, and that's why I did my face like this. So hopefully I look cute. I'll show you all the final results of my passport pic when I'm done, but yeah, talk to you later. Bye. I just did my outfit of the day, y'all. I don't know how it's gonna look on TikTok. I hope it looks good. I have all these lights on and I can barely see. Hold on. First off, I feel so cute in this outfit. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't think I got too much going on. I feel like I look super cute. Am I crooked? Probably. All right, so I have my mic hooked up to my camera instead of the other way around, where before I was like doing something weird, it's actually clipped to my camera. So I actually like this setup a little bit better because all I gotta do is keep my mic clipped. But I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like this. For now, it's fine, but yeah. I had to take everything off of my back area so you couldn't see anything. And now we're gonna head to Staples and get our passport picture taken. Let me just move everything back. I literally removed everything off my dresser. I was like, no, you don't need to see any of this stuff on my dresser. Also, this is not sponsored yet. This right here, this Shea Moisture Even Tone um, a deodorant is really good. Really, really, really good. So is that one of here? We're gonna head to Staples. Hopefully it's not freezing outside because I'm gonna take my passport picture like this. I try to think of everything that they would tell me to do and I try to do that thing. Like put your hair up, make sure your hair is not in front of your ears. Even if they tell me to put my little tendril up, I don't mind doing that either. You all see how cute I look? Are you kidding? Do you guys see how cute that is? That's, you can't see this. This is a weird angle from here. I can't see me, hold on. Are you kidding? You can't even see. Cause the lights are like dark in here. It's like not enough light. Oh my God, I look so cute though. In real life, let's go to Staples and let's get this passport picture taken. Stop playing with y'all. So we can go to Mexico. Okay, my baby. 
come with me to get my passport picture taken at Staples. I think this was the best one yet. It's so hot in my car right now, so if you hear some background noise, I'm sorry. But I just took my passport picture, y'all. Um, I don't know. I took my own at home, and I took one from Staples, and I don't know. Did I do a good job? Like, my face is crooked. Whatever. Okay. Hopefully, when my passport gets here, it'll look really good. But yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.